Growing up in a home with plants that were decorative pieces for our living space made entirely out of plastic, things sure have changed now. Most people prefer the real plant, and a lot of it too. They aren't just for decoration, they are way more than that. In this video, Elaine and I went to her friend's place at Green Gold Gardens to get some new soil for a pot that got infested and maybe get a new plant or two. which is a, a very green place, as you can see. It's run by my friend Rosalyn, which we hope to meet in a little bit. She stepped out, but we're here to check out some plants. We recently discovered our palm is dying, the inside palm. You probably see in the background of her vlogs. So we're here to pick up a new one, um, but we're also very curious about the place. And it's beautiful already, so let's check it out. And this is and this happened also because of the COVID you know, uh, pandemic. And I've always loved plants, I've always had plants in my Place, wherever I've gone to, I've visited parks in every country that I've been to and make sure I go, go to a green space, either a park or a garden or something. So last year, I was at home and then I decided, I've always wanted to do this anyway. So I was at home and I, I live in an apartment, so obviously I don't have a garden. So, and I called my sister and said, you know what, we have an old home, a childhood home in airport station. So I said to my sister, you know what, I'm just going to take part of it and green it. At that time, there was nobody living in the house, so we had to play garden. So I, I just went and I took a little portion and I called. I have gardens because I've always, as I said, I've always, I love gardens. So I do um, garden maintenance. I have some clients that I go to their yeah, homes. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. yeah, I've always done something with garden, with plants. So I called them up and I said, you guys, lockdown, I think they lifted the lockdown, or was it during the lockdown, 27th of April. I called them and I said, you guys, meet me at that place. Meet me at the house in so they might be there, I uh, two of them. And then we just started. I said, you know what, we're going to do this. We're going to do this. Let's plant a bit of grass here. Let's do this. And before we knew it had become an end, it started raining almost um, like immediately afterwards. So the garden just became beautiful and lush and green. And I told a few people about it, the people told people about it. Before I knew, I actually started what I always dreamt of starting. But because of my nine, my regular work yeah. and lack of money, because I always said, I never have enough money. I said it kind of was like accidental, organic, whatever, it just happened. Nice. And then yeah, so before I knew it, it became a big thing. And I started to like, enjoy it. So basically people love, um, people love this particular plant. It's called uh, a pothos, P-O-T-H-O-S. And what, 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 it's so versatile because, you know, it does very well in full sun, it does well in shade conditions as well and the fact that it, it you, you know you can hang it and it trails is like a vine and it's low maintenance so this is one of the best my best sellers anyway so if you can see all that space is all empty we had them before and they were fully you know they're full and they were flowing like I want to show you one that's really full which you can probably see these ones are not my best ones but they are they're, they're quite yeah, they're like this and they really are very good for styling a space so I, I um, basically, I, yeah, this is one of my best sellers. Um, I mean, it's not closely followed by, but th this is another favorite of a lot of people. It's a Monstera vine. It's called a Swiss cheese plant as well. It's got holes. It's a bit, it's, you know, it's different. It's got holes in the, in the leaves. This, this is actually it as well here. Yeah. But this is my vine. This is a pepper plant. This is a very iconic plant. The, the, the leaf form and the definite you know the definition is, is really popular it's one of my more popular plants as well and it's a very good indoor plant it's a statement plant I call it because when you put it in a space it really looks good you look at this thing you know, Monstera um, Deliciosa yeah. yeah and obviously we've got grapes 
So um, when you want to um, kind of beautify or green a, a, a pergola or a space like a summer hut, grape vines are ideal because they really go very quickly and they fill the space. And if you prune it well, they'll fruit as well. So yeah, two for the price of what? You get to green your space and you get fruits as well. So I love grape vines as well. One thing I noticed about Green Gold was how plant care was done there. It felt like a lot of time was taken to make sure the plants had all the best care to grow and flourish, you know? There are so many plants. It's like you discovered something new at every turn. So we decided to go with two new plants, a ZZ plant, which is currently our biggest, and a Domcade, which I'd rather not attempt to mention the scientific name. They cleaned the plants and repotted them. They are not great. And we headed out. If you have plants at home, comment below which ones you have and why you got them. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. It means a lot. We'll catch you in the next one. In the meantime, peace. Looking at the color green is therapeutic. So it helps with your productivity, it helps with your, your mental. You know, it, it distresses you to be in green space.